What's up, people? I just wanted to show you uh, a new bot that I'm trying. Instead of Streamlabs, which is so annoying, like you have to always use those tokens to get the bot to work and then <gasps> everything else, I found a new bot, something way better, in Firebot. Firebot has everything you want and more added to it. You got currency, you got games to play. You could also get uh, commands to work to where you could you have dice and stuff. And the commands are really cool. Like, really cool. You do advanced and then you, uh, you can put a chat and then have it say whatever you want it to say. And then you can have sound with it. And then, or video. You can have all kinds of random things, random images from uh, Reddit. You can run a command. You can roll credits. You can, you can do all kinds of things. Like, there's so much potential for this bot. I haven't seen something that uh, I wish it had that Stream had, Streamlabs had. Like, Streamlabs is okay. I mean, it's got everything. It's got your quotes, giveaway, song requests. We can't do song requests anymore on Twitch anyways. So that's a bust. Now the sounds, it has sounds, but you don't have to like download a script to have like anything. And every time that, every month it asks us to do a token for it. Like generate token, this bot has never asked me to do that again. And then there's different profiles if you have like a different uh, account. There's all kinds of cool things, cool effects. Like on my hype command, if I could find it, it's somewhere in here. Well, there's a hype command. On the hype command, I made a, um, I made hype. And then I put, you know, whatever you want it to say. And then when you go to here, there's celebrations. And on the celebrations, there's fireworks or confetti. And it shoots out fireworks or confetti. And it's really cool. It's a good hype. Thing. Uh, Streamlabs is good for alerts and everything else, but this I found that I could do more with. I could do a lot of cool things with this one compared to the other one. There's effects, you can have hotkeys, counters, you know, there's moderation, but um, the only thing is, is it doesn't um, stop links. That's the only limit to uh, this compared to the other one. Like this one has um, mods where you can uh, turn off the thing where nobody could use links except for subs and stuff. This would be cool to have. And that's basically the only thing I have that I would want on here. But everything else is cool. The commands are really cool and they have a lot of cool things that you could do cool events when somebody comes into the chat you can have it showing a, a video or like words on the chat and stuff see like when sugar comes in I have um, show image or gift play sound and then chat. So when he comes in, it plays that. It plays this sound. And then it says in chat, sugar's here. I mean, yeah, Streamlabs has that. Okay, that's great. But you know, you have to do a lot of things for Streamlabs. You have to go to make the file, 
Then you gotta make the command, and then on the command, you have to put it in here, and then put that there, and then if you want it to show up on screen, you gotta go in here and make a script for um for it, and it's like really annoying. But this, they have everything you want and need. This is the best, in my opinion, the best bot to use on Twitch right now. I'm hoping later on they have um, the link thing. So when people put links, it will say you can't have a link or something. There's limits to this and then only subs. But yeah, this is uh, this is the bot. This is what I changed over to. There's trivia, heist, slots. You could name the... Oops, Rowan. You could name the currency to coins, whatever you think you want for your thing. If you guys need help, leave a comment down below, and I will be happy to uh, try to assist you. I'm going to make this a thing where I'm going to show you guys uh, tips and tricks for the bot and hopefully you guys like it as much as I do because I'm tired of Streamlabs bot because you have to download scripts to make the cool stuff work when in this if you want to make a notification I made events so when somebody follows it says something when somebody hosts it says something sub give subs when my friends come into the chat when somebody cheers. It's all here. So let me know what you guys think of this bot. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to get it. And you guys could try it for yourself. And hopefully you guys think it's a better bot than the Streamlabs. And uh, you try it. Because I've been enjoying it. I, I've been trying it. I tried it on Mixer when it was available on Mixer. They had some other features, but the Mixer went down. So they moved over to Twitch, and I thought I'd make a video showing you that I'm going to uh, be switching all my stuff over to here, and I've been, like, working towards that. And, yeah, this is it. This is the bot I'm going to be using for a while. Hopefully they add more features and they are always updating this. They're constantly updating for stuff. See? So it's a really good bot that they update constantly. And I'm really glad I found this bot when I was on Mixer. But now that I moved back to Twitch. I wanted to use this bot. Because Streamlabs would always crap out on me. Like... I don't know why, but I always lose connection. And then it's always telling me, generate token to, you know, get these started again. And it's like, <sighs> I can't be doing that every damn time. Like, I'd have a situation where I'm streaming and it would be doing that. And then I'd be like, I have to do this right in the middle of the stream. So, yeah, Streamlabs is out. Firebot is the way to go. If you guys need help with anything, let me know. I'm getting really familiar with this. I'm on their Discord. If you guys want, join my Discord. And if you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comment or send me a message on Discord. I'm happy to help. Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate you guys. Take care and stay awesome, my friends. Much love.